Hello, my name is Roger Fuchs, product manager of Stabicat, and in this video I will show you how to draw a wastewater system in Stabicat for Revit with the help of Outrouting and Node Solver. If you are going to draw a wastewater system in Stabicat, you can do that easily with the help of the outer routing that is natively provided by Revit. So if I go around the corner, that means the band will be generated automatically. And if I uh, make an intersection, then in this case a T will be generated automatically. The way that that works is that Revit expects a pipe and a fitting and a pipe and a fitting after each other. Never two fittings after each other because that compromises the integrity of the outer routing system. Uh, but yeah, in the wastewater discipline, often uh, yeah, there are multiple fittings after each other. Huh? As you can see here, there are two 45 degree bands and over here we have a 45 degree T with a 45 degree band. But this is still a valid outer routing system because in Stabicat we work with uh, so-called composites, which is uh, yeah, a kind of fitting within fittings. So Revit will see this as a single fitting and therefore huh, it's pipe fitting, pipe fitting. But in reality, these are actually two different fittings. And this composite has all kind of uh, functionalities. For example, hey, I can make it a 90 degree bend simply by pressing a checkbox. And the same works for a T. So for a T, I can make it a reduced T in case this diameter is shorter. I can make it a 90 degree T, for example. I can do all kinds of things uh, with, this, with this composite. And it's still a valid outer routing system, meaning if I uh, change for, if I select this part of the system and I use a native function to change it, now the system will automatically uh, uh, yeah, change accordingly. This is native Revit behavior. If um, I were to do the same thing, uh, but then with Node Solver in the past, so this is the old uh, Node Solver from the older version of Stabicat, I would get the same result, yes, but in this case I will get two fittings after each other. And it's still connected, of course. Uh, and the difference being, uh, this is no longer a valid outer routing system. So if I change this, I will get all kind of errors. Uh, yeah, and you will get some uh, wrong representation, as you can see over here. And in Stabica 12, 13 and onwards, this is uh, changed. So that uh, with, with now also, if you use Node Solver, um, you will be able to place those composites as well. So uh, I can, for example, change this, choose the same solution as we have here above. Now those fittings will be used. And then when I generate it, uh, I will get a nice composite. So from Stabica 12, 13 and onwards, you can just draw your wastewater systems with the help of outer routing, with the help of node solver. You can mix the two um, methods. Um, it doesn't matter. You will always have a valid uh, system that can be modified and also put on slope because this is also a requirement to put the systems on a slope. If uh, we are looking to the composites, um, these are elements who, of course, you cannot order. But in the material lists, the bill of materials, you will see only the elements within it. So you will only see here, in this case, bands and tees uh, with, with real article numbers, and there's no mention of composite at all. Now, that is how to draw a wastewater system in Stabicat with the help of outrouting and with the help of uh, Node Solver. Uh, I hope you can use this new functionality in Stabica 12 13 to even better design your systems. Thank you very much. To request a demo or learn more about Trimble MEP products, visit us at mep.trimble.com or find the right link for you in the description. Thanks for watching.